And bam! I said bam! Here we go. I love how it was like delayed. You know, I ground pound him and it takes like a second or so for him to even react. But anyway, this is how you get the plan to be even bigger. And yes, this is going somewhere. Don't worry about it. Oh, hello, Mumbo Token here. Guarded by even more angry bees. Okay, get up there! Okay, okay. I was <laughs> about to get the swarm by those bees. Screw that uh, gold feather. I'm still full for the time being, though it's not going to last very long, I'm afraid. Let's head over to uh, Mambo's skull, shall we? I alluded before to the transformation being only available in... Um... Oh, come on! Ah! Well, at least now you get to see what the brambles do if you're not a bee. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you get into the skull and Lazy Mumbo says too hot for magic. Mumbo wants suntan. Too hot for magic will just transform me into a into a fridge or something. I don't know. Oh, by the way, just a random thought here. Call it nitpicking, call it what you will, but Mumbo can't have a suntan. He's got no skin. Hello? Did they even think of that when they wrote that line? Or or is it the entire point? You know, he wants a tan, but he doesn't have any skin. Oh, well, anyway, let's head over there. I guess we're going to start climbing that tree. Oh, no, not yet. There's a little side path here that I guess I should check just in case it has anything. And it does! Mumbo token! Okay. So now we're going to need to bust out the golden feathers in order to get in there. Okay, got it with uh, with only one. Good, uh, because uh, I think I was like a fraction of a second away from using up another one, and, and it it probably wouldn't matter a great deal because you know it's still one golden feather, but still you gotta you gotta conserve them because you're gonna be using them a lot in this level. Anyway, as you can see, the leaves on the tree are a lot bigger in, in summer than they were in spring, so that makes this path actually climbable now. Okay, let's try not to fall. Once again, we're already pretty high up, so uh, screwing up at this point, like this, like this, would be terry bad. Okay, let's try this again. I, I'm, I'm going to concede that it's hardly a, an easy thing to do, uh, you know, climbing those uh, those leaves, because e even though we're in summer and they're, they're a lot bigger than they used to be, they're still really small, especially compared to the size of that tree. Just imagine how huge that tree must be. You know, remember in spring when we went all the way to the top of the level and uh, we, we went to, to get a jiggy with the bee form? Well, it must have been like 1% of the height of that tree, so uh, for the leaves on that tree to be this small, well, yeah, you get the idea. Whoa! Okay, now I'm going to try a, in a, a bit of a safer method. Here we go. And we get a jiggy for our troubles. This is actually sort of well hidden because I don't think uh, it would cross... Uh, too many people's mind to actually climb those really, really tiny uh, leaves. And uh, yeah, I remember about that. There's also a mumbo token uh, past the jiggy. And I guess from here on out, it's just a shortcut to higher areas of the tree. So I guess what I'm going to be doing is... Uh, yeah, I, I was right. So... No, no, no! I didn't want to do that! Bad Banjo! Bad Banjo! Or should I say Bad Kazooie? Because... She was the one who uh, who got started on the shock spring jump, but I, I, uh, the, the plan was to you know jump off the ledge and uh, use uh, the so-called double jump to uh, make the fall a, a bit smaller, but uh, didn't work out so well. So another mumbo token over by those branches. Just gonna grab that uh, gold feather, by the way, just so that I. Uh, compensate for the one I used up earlier for that mumbo token. And uh, yeah, this is relevant because as I said, we're going to be using gold feathers a lot in this level. Especially for those man-eating plants. They got mumbo tokens, they got all sorts of other goodies that you really want to grab, so yeah, this is what the gold feathers are there for. Okay, six caterpillars. We're doing good. We're, we already have more uh, 
than we need for this particular season. So that means we can uh, already get ahead in terms of the huge number of caterpillars we'll be needing in fall. Okay, die! Die, you two! Now I guess this is the beehive. And now that you can't uh, use the bee to get inside, um, there's another entrance up at the top that you just have to use the ground pound on. There we go. And you might remember that the bees inside were guarding a Jiggy uh, for Gruntilda. So guarded they will, but fortunately we have a secret weapon on our side. What is it, you ask? Take a look at that. This is going to be so fun. So fucking cheap. Four golden feathers is all it takes. And yeah, four gold feathers is a lot. It's 20% of my stock, but uh, it's a really easy mode compared to, you know, just fighting those bees the normal way. So yeah, they are four golden feathers well spent, if you ask me. Anyway, let's keep climbing the tree, and you're gonna see uh, what I meant uh, back uh, when I was in spring by, you know, this whole area being under construction because we're gonna hit the area. Remember the one where, with all those wooden planks that were like inexplicably floating in the air? Well, we're back here now and oh hi, another caterpillar. Wow, we're, we're really rolling in them now. So, as you can see, they started building a little hut uh, in this area. Well, I don't know who they are, but uh, they're building a hut. That's all we know. There's nothing behind it. Uh, now, in there, uh, there's a Jiggy inside that hut. You could wait until fall to pick it up, because uh, in fall uh, the, the floor is actually completed. But, you know what? I, 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 I don't like the idea of, you know, uh, waiting to get something that's perfectly obtainable here. And, you know, it, it was easy, it was easy, but the hard part is the way back. Just look at this. I'm gonna have to try and land on that platform and fail! Fuck you! Oh yeah, taunt me, will ya? Okay, fine, I'm gonna cut out my uh, the way back, so I'll see you back when I get back to a, a little wooden hut. Okay. God damn it, this sucked. I... I try it in every single playthrough, and in every single playthrough, I fail. I'm always too far off to the right. Good fucking lord. I dream of the day uh, where I'm gonna get it right, and I thought maybe this would be today, but no, I don't learn, ever. As I said, if you're not confident in your skill, you can always wait until uh, until fall to, uh, to do it, but otherwise, um, if you're feeling gutsy, try doing what I did and, you know, Maybe it's gonna work for you, who knows? Okay, so those, those two notes are gonna put us at 36, which is what we're supposed to do to have at the end of the season, so this means there are no more uh, notes left in summer. Touch my honey this time and you'll be sorry. Sure, whatever, not interested. Anyway, <laughs> nah, I'm not all fool because he ate all his acorns in the... Uh, in spring, and now he doesn't have any left for winter. Yeah, way to plan ahead, you little glutton, you. Anyway, there there was nothing in this uh, house and this time around, and oh god, there are a few more birds than there were last time here. I do, I definitely don't remember them being there in uh, in the spring, and I'm gonna venture a guess and say that all of those ledges will be occupied by birds uh, in fall. So, over here, we have, uh, Irie's nest, so I guess I have, what, eight caterpillars? Um, no, I have seven. Why did I think I had eight? Oh, well. Uh, I'm still gonna have two left, which means... Th there, are, there are a lot more than eight in fall, just so you know, so don't worry too much about that. We're, uh, they're, they're pretty loose in the number of caterpillars they included in this level. Kind of like Momo tokens throughout this whole game. I mean, I'm supposed to have 40 Momo tokens left, and at the end of the game if I collect them all, so... Now! Seems like this eagle can only do two things, eat and sleep. Great, must be the, gr must be the best life ever. 
Anyway, another area that's under construction. If you remember, there weren't nearly as many wooden planks here. Fortunately, someone was kind enough to add uh, some to uh, the trickier jumps, so this is nowhere near as uh, potentially painful as it was in spring. Let's get up there, and we have absolutely nothing. We have 30 mumbo tokens, so this means that we are now entirely done with summer. So I'm going to head back to the entrance. Uh, the same way I did in uh, in spring by you know using that um, beehive as a platform and so yeah let's head over to fall I don't know why but uh, fall is my favorite season of the bunch uh, not necessarily because the because uh, of the music because um, the spring theme was a lot catchier but in fall it's just like everything's easier to navigate there are huge mounds of leaves everywhere that allow you to get the quickly up to uh, areas where you, you need to, to do huge detours in previous seasons it's also the season where you get a real feeling that you're progressing because it's by far the season with the most notes I believe it's tied with um... okay I read now once uh, 10 caterpillars as I said before but yeah, as I was saying, fall is tied with summer for the season with the most jiggies. So as you can see, huge mounds of leaves everywhere, which make navigation a bit less complicated than it needs to. And here we go, here we go! Oh man, I had to take a second one. Oh well, no problem. I still have 15 left. I won't be needing them much in the, in winter anyway. Here we're back up to 16, excellent. So, yeah, I guess we could, um... Okay, let's check this out first. Oh, great, they got notes now. So I gotta jump into that, jump while above that, and jump out. Get up there! Get the fuck... Okay. Wow, I used three gold feathers on this one. And is it me, or are those things getting bigger as uh, each season progresses? Kind of like the birds, uh, in fact, I'd say. Because, uh, yeah, in, 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 um, in summer, you saw me get up uh, right next to that man-eating plant. But, uh, unfortunately, I, I couldn't seem to do so this time because it was a little bit bigger. So this is why I'm under the impression that those things get bigger with each season. And, okay. As I said, lots of notes in this, uh, in this season. Many of them are scattered around the tree, which is uh, another great incentive to kill all those birds! Okay, I thought I was going to fall down for a second. Okay, just grab the note. What the heck am I doing wrong? Oh well, as I said, there's a big pile of leaves that uh, is going to save me a lot of time instead of having to go up all the way over to the right there. Okay, fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go put the camera behind myself and... Oh, great. More notes inside of a man-eating plant. Well, let's, well, let's just take care of them right now so that I don't have to bother. Come on! Oh... Oh, wow! I actually used only two! Wow, I milked that second one for all it was worth, it seems. Okay. Okay, let, let's, let's get away from that bull. I don't want to get gored again. Jesus, so many birds. Well, I guess at least if uh, you don't collect uh, the energy they draw, then uh, they make a reliable uh, you know, source of energy in case you... Um, in, ca in case you get hit a lot or something. But they're not there in winter, and it's the season where I'm uh, the most likely to actually get my ass handed to me. Oh well, no point in worrying about it yet, so now that this is done, I guess I'm gonna head uh, over there to explore this sector of the wood. There's a little side path here, I wonder if there are any nodes that I can grab. Very important to check everywhere, as I said before. This note has three times as many notes as the other season. Nope, nothing but a caterpillar. So I guess um, I'm gonna head over to uh, Naughty's, uh, Naughty's Lair. Another Donkey Kong Country reference. But yeah, I'm gonna head over there. Um, nothing there. Okay, good. Is there a caterpillar over there? Nope, no caterpillar. Die! Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, I'm gonna head over to Naughty's Lair since, um, well, that's the next logical step. 
But that's a story arc that's going to be kept for next time. So I'll see you guys when I get around to doing that.